Hello, I'm Renata Gambino, and this video is about computer-supported collaborative learning. It arose in the 1990s in reaction to software that forced students to learn as isolated individuals. The exciting potential of the Internet to connect people in innovative ways provided a stimulus for research and that transformation of the whole concept of learning was required. Therefore, computer-supported collaborative learning is to be considered as an emerging branch of the learning sciences concerned with studying how people can learn together with the help of computers. It is also a pedagogical approach where learning takes place via social interaction using a computer or through internet. It is characterized by the sharing and construction of knowledge among participants using technology as their primary means of communication or as a common resource. Moreover, and more in deep, uh, it, it proposes the development of new software and applications that bring learners together to offer creative activities of intellectual exploration and social interaction. And it bases on learning theories that emphasize that knowledge is the result of learners interacting with each other, sharing knowledge and building knowledge as a group. It inherently takes much from constructivist and social cognitivist e-learning theories. A lot of times, uh, computer-supported collaborative learning is uh, thought to be the same as uh, e-learning. In, in fact, it is not, because it is not true that posting of content such as slides, text or videos is compelling for instructions. E-learning is often motivated by the wrong belief that classroom content can be digitalized and disseminated with little effort and involvement of teachers in order to spare time and work. Computer-supported collaborative learning instead fosters uh, for synchronous and asynchronous situations uh, for collaboration tools uh, which do not replace the teacher but allow participants to choose the right time and pace for their learning. Mm. They look for informal models of collaboration with facili with, which facilitate individual coaching and uh, um, think that knowledge is constructed in a social interaction as a discourse. Um, in fact, learning is not a matter of accepting fixed fact, but in the dynamic, ongoing and evolving result of complex interaction primarily taking place within communities of people. Therefore, main goals uh, of uh, computer-supported uh, collaborative learning are um, interaction analysis as a proof that the knowledge building occurred, uh, the, the idea that technology comes in support of collaborative learning and that it should provide new types of media that foster the building of collaborative knowing, and that digital tools should help collaborative groups with the act of negotiating the knowledge that they are building, and the idea that it is possible to remove the teacher considered as a bottleneck in the communication process among students, while technologies should strive to increase the quantity and quality of learning moments via computer simulated situations. So we come now to some examples to make it clear what we mean by computer supported collaborative uh, learning and collaborative writing is a very good uh, um, example for this. In fact, the process of planning and writing together encourages students to express their ideas and develop a group understanding of the subject matters and tools like blogs, interactive whiteboards and custom spaces that com com combine free writing with communication tools can be used to share work, form ideas and write synchronously. The same is to say for technology-mediated discourse, which allows participants that may be separated by time and distance to engage in conversation and build knowledge together, or group explorations, where students do their exploring of a place in an online environment using technology to better understand the physical area they are uh, fostering. 
So um, other examples uh, are from coming come from problem based learning or project based learning, where complex problems call for rich group interplays that encourage collaborations and create movements towards a clear goal. This brings us to some concerns uh, regarding computer supported collaborative learning. In fact, many people think that we have uh, still insufficient access to computer technology, although the access to computers has improved in the last 15, 20 years. And the teacher's attitude about technology uh, and the access to internet uh, is still a, a barrier to the widespread usage of computer supported collaborative pedagogy. Instructors, many instructors, find that the time needed to monitor students' discourse and review, comment and grade students' products can be more demanding than what, than what is necessary for traditional face-to-face -face classrooms. The teacher or professor has also uh, an instructional decision to make regarding the complexity of the problem presented, because if uh, uh, the problem presented is not uh, complex enough, the, co um, the uh, collaborative teamwork is considered unnecessary. Also, there is a risk in assuming that students instinctively know how to work collaboratively. Though the task may be collaborative by nature, students may still need training on how to work in a truly cooperative process. This brings us to the concerns about fake collaboration. There is an issue with the possible creation of overscript collaboration, and this may fail to trigger the social, cognitive and emotional mechanisms that are necessary to true collaborative learning. Instructors may be tempted to apply technology to a learning activity that can very adequately be handled without the intervention of computer support and in the process of learning how to use the user-friendly technology, uh, they could, uh, result, it could result that computers became, become an obstacle to collaboration than a supporter of it. So uh, these are the main concerns, but I think that time and experience will help us to uh, face these problems and concerns. And if you are interested in this topic, I will suggest you some interesting um, articles. And here is the bibliography or go to our section with uh, the materials to get deeper in the question. So thank you for your attention and see you Thank you.